How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this video we're going to be covering how to debloat and further optimize Nvidia drivers for more performance, lower latency, for reduced load on the CPU, more FPS and more customization on all the driver features in which you want to keep. I personally do debloat all of the GPU drivers in which I install to my Nvidia PCs and laptop and it's a quick and easy way to shed off some of those features in which nobody's going to be using and customize the driver for you so you get the most performance possible for your system and your use case. If you guys do enjoy this video please do consider pressing that like button and leaving a comment for the YouTube algorithm as it does help me out tremendously and with all that said and done let's get straight on into the video. With all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the activate windows watermark, built a new PC or just want to own windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered simply input the key inside of windows and boom you're now completely activated and own windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. We first of all need to download the driver in which we're going to be debloating, then getting the utility to debloat the driver itself. We should first of all find out which Nvidia GPU we are running on our PC to ensure that we download the latest and correct driver for this. For this, navigate down to your taskbar, right click, open up task manager. If you're running on Windows 11, you might want to hit Control Alt Delete on your keyboard and open up task manager through that menu. Once inside of here, head over to the performance tab, scroll all the way down on the left hand side to GPU zero. Once you've selected this, in the top right hand side, you'll then be able to see the make and model of the GPU in which you are using. Either do a quick Google search for NVIDIA drivers or use the link to the NVIDIA drivers in the description down below. Inside of here, take yourself down to the manual driver search, input your product details, so for me let's say 30 series. For laptop users, you'll select notebooks, input your individual product, operating system, language, then select start search. It is definitely recommended to install this driver as a clean installation using the display driver uninstaller or DDU tool. If you're just manually going to update your current driver with a debloated driver, you'll still going to have tons of that bloatware still on your system and deep within your drivers because you're just simply copying the new driver on top of pre-existing driver installations. The DDU or display driver uninstaller tool will completely remove all of your display drivers from your system where you can then go ahead and install your brand new debloated driver with absolutely no files remaining from any old installations. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and would like to see how to do that you can follow the video on screen now as clean installations can not only improve performance but they can also fix game instability, stutters and outright PC crash. Just scroll down and you want to download the latest game ready driver which will be at the top of this list. Select download, download now. With the driver downloaded it is recommended to place this on your desktop. Once that's completed we can then grab the tool in which we're going to use to debloat the driver. For this again you can do a quick google search or use the link in the description down below to be brought over to the NV clean stall program. On the left hand side download the latest version which will be available for you by selecting the blue download button then select the mirror which is closest to you. Once that's done open up the app. What we then need to go ahead and do is load in our driver in which we're going to be debloating. You can set the program to download the latest driver or recommended driver for your machine, but I personally don't like doing that as sometimes it can bug out. So what we're going to do is navigate down to use driver files on disk, then select browse. Go to your desktop, scroll down, and we want to find that driver in which we downloaded. Once you find the driver, select the driver, select open. Once that's done, navigate down to next. If at any point during this driver installation you run into any issues, or later on down the line you don't want to have a debloated driver and would like to go back to a normal one, do know that at any time you can just jump over to the NVIDIA website, download a normal, regular driver, and just install it to your PC and it will install all of the features as a normal driver would. You'll then be brought into the main page where you'll be able to select all of the features and tools you want to have installed with your NVIDIA driver. On the right hand side of the screen you'll find a list of what you must have selected depending if you're using a desktop or a laptop. You must have all of those selected regardless of what else you want to have enabled. If you are planning on using the Nvidia GeForce Experience, first of all I would advise not using this as you will see a significant performance drop. If you are wanting to keep the GeForce Experience though, we're not going to be installing it with this installation, we'll download it manually later on. For laptop users you are going to want to select the Nvidia Optimus section as this will be necessary on most laptops. If your GPU has a USB-C out you may also want the USB-C driver installed, but seeming that I'm going to be installing this to my desktop, I'm only going to be having this option here selected. Once you've selected your custom list, take yourself to the bottom right hand side and select next. This will then begin to unpack the installer, unpacking all of the files and removing the excess bloat which we selected earlier. This is a slightly more advanced section where we can set some nifty optimizations at a driver level. For me personally, I like to disable the installer telemetry and advertising. I like to initiate an unattended express installation. I find that this does help the 
the GPU driver install a little bit more stably. I would also check the allow automatic reboot if needed. We do not need to select perform a clean installation if you have already DDU'd or are planning on using the DDU utility to remove your old drivers like I have, so I'm not going to be selecting this. Install NVIDIA control panel through the Microsoft Store. For those of you running on RTX based graphics cards, you can enable the DLSS indicator where it will show you if DLSS is running in game alongside the version in which it's using. This can be quite useful, but some users may find this annoying, so decide if you want this or not. We can then navigate down to show expert tweaks. Once again, disabling driver telemetry. We're going to be keeping the NVIDIA container. I would also recommend disabling the NVIDIA HD audio device sleeper timer as this can help alleviate issues, especially for those of you using VR headsets. I would also highly recommend enabling message signal based interrupts for every single GPU out there, regardless of how high or low end your GPU is. For the interrupt policy, leave this at default. Set your interrupt priority to high. You can experiment around with disabling HDCP and in some cases you can see a performance boost from doing this. For me personally, I'm going to be disabling this, leaving show external application unselected. If you have selected one or more of the tweaks above, you are going to have to select the rebuild digital signature option. And I personally would recommend using the method compatible with easy anti-cheat. But do know that when you do select this option, when you install your new driver, you are going to be prompted with this warning message if you want to install anyway, and you will have to select yes to this. Once you've selected all of the options for your PC with Inside of Fear, select next, and this will then begin to create your custom driver. You'll have three options available to you. You can install the driver directly from this page. You can select show in folder or build package. I personally have run into some issues building the package or a manual exe from using this. Instead, at this stage, I would actually go over to the desktop, right click, select new folder. I'm just going to be calling this debloated driver. Once you've created your folder, select show in folder. This will then bring you over to the installation path of our custom driver. You then want to highlight and select every file and folder with inside of it and drag this over to the folder in which we created earlier. We can first of all close out of the program as that is completed. At this stage in the video, we're going to be installing our new driver. This is the stage where I would definitely go ahead and DDU or display driver uninstall all of your old drivers from your system to ensure that you have the best installation possible when installing a debloated driver. You can just install the debloated driver as an update on top of your pre-existing drivers, but again, you aren't going to be getting the majority of that benefit. Head inside of the debloated driver folder, navigate down to the setup.exe and double click. Select yes. The NVIDIA graphics card driver installer will then open up and this will begin to automatically install your driver and you will not have to select any prompts to do this as we did select an automatic express installation earlier on. Throughout this process, bear in mind that you are going to run into the typical driver installation quirks, such as your monitor turning on and off, it's completely normal. And after a short amount of time, all of these issues will be fixed. If you did select one or more of the advanced tweaks in the previous section, you may be prompted with the Windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver software section, where you'll then need to navigate down to select install this driver software anyway. If you also chose to deselect the HD audio driver, you may also be met with an error. This is completely normal. Just select OK to this error message. The MV clean stall program should then close out and your driver should now be completely installed. Before moving on, I would definitely recommend doing a quick system restart just to make sure that the driver has been successfully installed properly and everything is good to go. Before jumping into some of your favorite games, if you do notice that the performance looks relatively the same or even worse, this is more than likely going to be due to your in-game settings having reset themselves. Games in which you have previously played are going to treat your graphics card as a new graphics card and it will defaultly reset your graphics settings with inside of most games. Just take two seconds to jump into the graphics menu and make sure that everything checks out as they may have been reset. With our brand new driver installed, we have a few lines last options which we need to cover before we close out of this video. Starting off with the basic NVIDIA settings, right click, enter the NVIDIA control panel. Start off by going to adjust desktop size and position. Ensure that your monitor's resolution and refresh rate have been set to the correct values. Make sure that your refresh rate has been set to the maximum available. Also repeat that setting for any other monitors you have available at the top of your screen. You can also set up G-Sync if G-Sync is available and if you want to use it. We're not going to be jumping into whether or not you should be using G-Sync or not, but just input the settings in which you may have had previously. We then want to navigate over to adjust image settings with preview, select the middle option for use advanced 3D image settings, then select apply. With that completed, head over to manage 3D settings. We are not going to extensively be going through these settings in this video. If you want to see a deep dive into the NVIDIA control panel settings, you can check out the video on screen now, also linked in the description down below. The main settings you may want to set, starting off with your low latency mode, I would personally recommend setting this to on. With that completed, navigate down to OpenGL rendering GPU, switching this off of auto select and selecting your GPU. Heading down to power management mode. For those of you wanting the best gaming performance possible and want to minimize the amount of stuttering you may be experiencing with inside of games,
frames, set your power management mode to prefer maximum performance. Lastly, navigating down to texture filtering quality, going to the drop down menu for this and setting this to high performance. With those optimizations set, select apply. Last but not least, we can navigate over to adjust desktop color settings. This is one of my favorite panels with inside of here as we can adjust our colors. The main slider you're going to be looking for with inside of here is digital vibrant. When I'm playing games, I personally like to have mine set to 80. You can choose to adjust your brightness, contrast and gamma with inside of here as well. And if you want to revert these settings back, navigate up to the top, select restore defaults. Once you've dialed in your monitor's color settings, select apply and we are done. When your driver has been reinstalled, one quick thing to note, if you are experiencing audio issues or are unable to hear things, this may be because when you installed your latest driver, it's actually reinstalled the display audio driver as well. For this, take yourself down to the bottom right hand side, right click on your speakers and open up the sounds tab. You can also just simply click on the speakers, go to the drop down menu and select the headphones or headset in which you were using previously. But to remove the other sections with inside of them, which you may not want to use whatsoever, head over to the playback section, right click on your monitors or anything you're not planning on ever using for audio output, right click on those and select disable. Then find the device in which you typically use for sound, whether that be your speakers or a custom headset, right click on this and set this as default and make sure this is enabled. Lastly, for those of you that are wanting to re-download and install the GeForce Experience, you can do so with a quick Google search or again linked in the description down below, select the GeForce Experience download link. With inside of here, select download now on GeForce Experience. Open up the tool once it's completed, follow the on-screen prompts, select agree and install, log into your Nvidia account and you are then good to go and ready to use GeForce Experience if you still want that kept. So whether you're using the GeForce experience or not, or have gone with a complete minimal driver installation, jump into some of your favorite games, make sure that everything is working correctly, and let me know of your results in that comment section down below. We will have a video coming to the channel soon, jumping into some more advanced optimizations, which some of you may want to apply, alongside an updated GPU overclocking guide, covering more optimizations, tweaks, and settings you can apply completely for free, where you could be looking at an extra 30% extra performance on top of all of the optimizations covered in today's video. And there you guys have it. That is my ultimate NVIDIA graphics card driver d -bloat video, helping you achieve more performance and tailor your GPU driver to your use case. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to leave a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm as it does help me out tremendously. And if you would like to see more optimizations to squeeze more performance out of your system, consider checking out the videos on screen now.